Apple Reminders has come a long way since the days it felt like it was just an afterthought that Apple had thought up, oh, we need to put a task manager into our system. Today, Apple Reminders is robust. It can do so many things, many of which even more expensive, well, actually paid task managers cannot do. And today I want to share with you one of those features that just could blow you away and make reminders your number one task manager. So let's get started. Okay, let's start off with looking at my routines because routines are those everyday occurrences that are not big, they're not desperately needed to be done. You could skip them if you needed to because they're sort of low value. But anyway, let's start off with these. Now, if you look in my screen right now, you'll notice that I've got communications, planning, admin, writing, planning chores, admin, admin, admin. Now, if I think about the vast majority of the work that I have to do every day, what I'm likely to find, particularly from my routines, are going to be admin tasks. Now, these will backlog very quickly if I'm not attending to them on a daily basis. So what I can do is I can create a smart list. Now, in Apple Reminders, I will need to go to File. Now, this is on the desktop. On your Mac, on an iPad, you'll see a little button down at the bottom for Folder. But if I just create New List, and it's going to bring up an option for me. Now, I'm going to call this Today's Communications. Uh, sorry, I was going to say <laughs> Today's Communications. No, I mean Today's Admin, because... These are the things, as I say, will back up if I'm not spending some time on it every single day. Now, I'm going to give this the colour purple, and that's just going to give me just a bit of a way of differentiating what I have. And I can go into here, list type, and create smart list. So once I've done that, I am now given a few options. Now, in my tags, I already have an admin tag. So it says here, tag all selected. If I tap on there next to all selected, it will give me the option. So in this particular case, I only want a single one, which is admin. Now, once I've done that, I can go to the next side over to the right here. You can see just above the OK button, a plus. If you tap that, I now get the option of adding a date. Now, just to give you an idea, it's not just date. You go have a few other options. You can do time, priority, flags, location, or any list for some reason. Oh, it must be in a specific list. But in this case, I'm only going to go for a date. So I'm just going to again tap in uh, next to the date. I'm going to put today. Now I get the option to include overdue, which I will do because remember, these are routines. So they're kind of like, mm, they're not high value. So I could skip them if I'm really busy on a particular day and I can just move it. So I'm going to keep it all I'm going to keep include overdue. The other thing I should warn you is include reminders matching all. So you have any, but you want in this case all. If you actually attach any, it's going to show you any, any task that's scheduled for today and any task that has a tag called admin. So we want all in this particular instance. Now, once I've done that, I can click OK. And watch what happens. It's going to give me today's admin. Now, as it happens, it looks like I have no admin task for today. So I'm going to go back into my routines. I'm just going to double check that that's the case. So water office plants is down as admin. That's for tomorrow. Write journal. That's writing. Go down to this one. That's tomorrow. But let's, so let's just go into the water office plant. If I click in that, I can change that to today. And let's say I'm going to send the sales figures to my boss today as well. So I'm just going to tap in there and click today. Now, if I go back to my today's admin, you will see that those two tasks are now showing up in this smart list. Now I have one of the things that I would always recommend is you think about the work that you do. For instance, I spend a lot of my time writing. So pretty much every single day I have a writing task. Now, I did mention if I go into here, I can just right click on that and I can go in show smart list information. And what you'll notice in this particular one, I've got pretty much the same thing, which is tags all selected. I'm going to tag writing. 
date is today, but it includes overdue. So what you'll notice is this one here, which I should have done on the 7th of October, I didn't do it. So now I have to make a decision. Am I going to do it today uh, or am I going to go and do it on another day? Well, I'm actually going to give that today. I'll get that done today after I've recorded my YouTube videos. So what you want to be doing with Smart List is looking at what you necessarily need to do. Now remember, you want to be very careful with this. Inbox, for instance, will capture all your tasks. You don't need to create a tag for any tag, any task created today. But there are a couple of ones that you could do. So we go back up here and let's just go into a raw one. So I'm going to create a new list and we're going to put this, call this just a test for now. List type is going to be a smart list. So it's a smart list. We're going to cut tags, but we're going to change that and we're going to say anything uh, with a date, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to specify a date range, okay? So now I can go in here and I can actually say change this for a whole month. So I could say any task that's due from the 1st of October to say the 31st of October. So this will show me all my tasks that I've got dated in my system that are showing up this month. Now, I can also go in here and add a plus and I can change this so we could do anything that's flagged. So it could be something that we have decided is going to be incredibly important. So you have two options here, flagged or not flagged, but we're gonna call this flagged. And then we're gonna create this task. Now remember, we're only calling this a test. Right now, I've got nothing flagged, so there's nothing in there. But I can go now into my scheduled up here and I could say, let's just go down these ones and say, this is particularly important, this ultimate productivity workshop. So if I click I, I can now go down to the bottom and I can turn on the flag and that's in. Now remember, this is now for Saturday the 11th of October, so it's not today. Uh, I could go down here and I could say, oh, this is going to be very important. So I'm going to flag this one. This is not until the 20th of October, but that's now flagged. And I can go down to say, let's just say this one, which is the 26th of October, and we'll flag this one as well. So now I've done three or four tags. If I go into my test here, what it's now showing me is anything that's in the date range of the 1st of October to the 31st of October that's got a flag. So this could be used when you're planning, and you can say, right, these are my most important tags or most important tasks for this month. But there's a lot that you can do within your, uh, within these smart lists. Uh, I'm going to remove that one. So to, to remove one, by the way, I can just tap on that. I can delete that list, but it won't, because it's a smart list, it won't remove all the tasks that I've got. They stay within the system. Okay, so one final one to show you, and that is something that I really like. So let's create a new smart list. So I'm going to go into File, New List. <clears throat> I'm going to call this today's most important tasks. Okay, and I'm going to make this one red. And again, what we're going to do is turn this into a smart list. Now, the first thing is, I know what my core work is. I am a writer. I also create content like these YouTube videos. Plus, I work on projects. So there's three core pieces of work or categories of work that I use. Now those categories are in my tags. So all selected but not. I'm going to go any selected in this particular one. Audio visual, these videos, and my projects and my writing. Those are the three that I would describe as my core work, the work that I do every single day. Now, of course, you're going to be different. You might be in sales, you might be an architect, you might be a doctor, you might be a manager of a large team of people. You do need to identify what your core work is to do this one really effectively. Now, also I need to do is tap on this and the date is going to be today. Of course, it's most important. Again, I'm going to include my overdue tasks. So if you look at what I've got here, include reminders matching all of the following filters. Tags can be audio, visual, projects or writing. 
and it must be due today or and include overdue. So let's click on OK and see what I get. So what I've got now is I've filtered out the admin, the communications, chores, anything like that, I've, com I've completely filtered out. All I am seeing now are today's most important tasks. And this is a superb way of managing your work so that you just see the most important work, not the work that might get like you need to check a website or you need to read an article. They can be done at any time. This is superb way of filtering out the noise so that you see what is truly important today. And this is one of the reasons why I am really beginning to like what Apple are doing with Reminders. Now, if you want to learn more about how to use your Apple tools, I have just updated my Apple Productivity course, which is now available and you can get it from my Learning Center. Apple Productivity course includes both Reminders, I'll teach you how to set up the Time Sector system, it also includes how to bring your Apple Notes into your Reminders, and how to use the calendar and iCloud Drive and email and free for. There's a lot in the course. It's three hours is the course. By the time you finish the course, you will have a beautiful Apple productivity system. And if you want to learn more about how I'm using Apple Reminders, then this video up here is definitely the one to watch next.